Hi, I'm Jen Robinson, and I'm a teacher librarian in the Newport Public Schools. And I'm Kristen Palsino, a technology coach in the Foster Public Schools. And today we're going to be showing you some technology tools because we want to promote the use of digital literacy tools in your classroom. Not as an add-on, but as something that can enhance what you're already doing in your curriculum. Today we're using Screencast-O-Matic to show you how to use another two tool called Newsella. If you'd like more information about this screencast and how to use it in your own classroom, you can come to our next session. But for today, we're talking about Newzella. So Newzella is an awesome resource. You can see it up on your screen here. And you can um, subscribe for an account to Newzella, or you can simply start to search the articles. So for today, I'm just going to go up here to this little magnifying glass and click open that search box. And you see the search box appears right here. I'm going to type in digital literacy because that's the focus of our professional development session. And as I hit enter, I get one result here. I'm going to open it up and make it full screen so we can see what it is. I want you to first notice all the awesome tools that are over here. And then I'm going to let Kristen kind of take you through them. But first we have the article itself. You can see that it can be shared in a number of ways. We can print it, email, Facebook, and so forth. All of our options are here. We've got the title of this great article right there. The default for this article is the grade level of a 7, and the word count is 920 words. And we've got our source up here as well. Down here is the article. But the cool thing we want you to notice is that if you have students reading at different levels, and most of us do in our classrooms, in the same room at the same time, we've got differentiation right here because there are different Lexile levels for the same article available right here on this tool on the right side. So now I'll let Kristen sort of walk you through this article and how to use it. Okay, thanks Jen. So one thing that you can do, aside from changing the Lexile level of the article, is you can actually teach your students how to annotate the article. So we're going to have you annotate this article today for practice in a moment, but what we'd like to do is sort of set up some, some norms for you. So what I'll do here is I will highlight that first paragraph there, those first couple of sentences, and I'm going to change the color. I think I'll change it to green. You can see that a little bit better. And what I'm going to have you do as you and your partner go through the reading of this article, I will have you highlight in green anything you find interesting. So that can mean many different things to many different people. So if you find a quote that you think you'd like to go back to or talk to your partner about when you're done reading the article, um, highlight that in green. What we'd like you to do is highlight something that you have a question about, hmm, I have a question about this one, let's see. The internet has become almost as important as books. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that in blue because I have a question about that. That's something that I'd like to discuss with my partner as we make our way through the, through the rest of the article. Um, so let me add that here. So we'll code it for questions. So anything that you think is questionable, whether you don't understand it or it's something you disagree with, we'll have that coded in blue. So as you can see, I was also able to annotate this text on the side. And we'll invite you to do the same thing with your partner. So as you go through the reading of this text, feel free to highlight and color code, but also write your questions in blue off to the side. So Whatever you highlight in blue, write that question that you have off to the side. And just put your initials at the end of your question so we know who it's from. All right, so Jen is going to take us through the next couple of steps. All right, so by the time you are finished with your Newzella experience, you will have at least four sentences from the text highlighted. You can have any combination of things that you find interesting or questions that you may have and make sure, as Kristen noted, that you put your initials at the end so that we can follow up with those questions and help to answer them at the end of the session. We want to make sure that you 
write those comments in there. We remind you again to annotate those pieces of your questions or your comments at, on the side there. And finally, at the end of this piece, you may also like. So if you finish early and you're done with your annotation, we challenge you to look through some other articles to examine and practice with Newzella. But what we would also like you to do is to think about how you can use this as a practical application in your curriculum. Because after all, this is not an add-on to the curriculum. This enhances your, cur your current curriculum. So we are going to have you examine the ELA standards for your grade level and find some standards that tie into this activity. So by the end of this time, you'll have an article that's annotated and at least four artifacts that are highlighted and annotated. And you'll also have at least one, at least one lesson idea that ties into the curriculum by looking at the grade five ELA standards. So this is just a great tool. Again, it's not anything different than you've already been doing in your classroom. You've already been teaching kids how to annotate texts, how to gather evidence in an article, um, and sort of organize that information. So what we're doing now is we're just showing you a digital tool that may potentially engage your students more than a post-it note or their, or their notebook and, and pen. Um, so this is just another option. Uh, we'll be walking around, like I said, able to help you if you have any questions. And let's see what we can do with this and see what kind of lesson ideas we, we can come up with. So Jen and Kristen signing off. Have fun. Explore. <laughs>